Welcome back aliens. In this video, we'll talk about abstract classes and abstract methods in Python. Now, first of all, Python by default don't support abstract classes. So you will not see this supporting directly, but we have a module which is ABC module which we can use here to achieve abstract classes. Now, ABC stands for abstract based classes. Awesome name, right? So we can use that to create our own abstract classes. Now, how do we do that? It's very simple. Let's open PyCharm. In fact, the thing is we have to answer two questions here. The first one is, what is abstract class and why do we need it? So we'll start with what and then we'll discuss why do we need it, okay? Uh, so what is abstract class? So basically let's create a class here and uh, we can create a class name, let's say computer. And of course computer can have multiple methods or multiple functions here. And I will say, okay, that's a computer class. And in this class, I can create some methods. Now, how do we create methods? It's very simple. We say dev and then let's create a method, which is let's say process as a computer it process, right? And then I can print here, I can say running. Fan, nothing fancy, let's keep it simple and we see us saying running here. So that's how you create a class and that's how you create a method. Now, how do you make a method? So a method has a name, method has a, a, a parameters which it accepts or arguments and then method also has a body. So this body here, this print statement is a body, right? So this body can have multiple statements. We can say, uh, we can do some processing there, we can take values, we can take variables and we can do some operations. But then just to keep it simple, this method has only one statement. Now, whenever you, your method has a body, it's a normal method. So, and normal methods are the normal classes. But what if I don't want to mention anything inside this method? I want to keep it blank. I don't. I, I just want to declare this method. Now, when you say declare, it simply means it, it doesn't have a body, right? Uh, now, the way you can declare a method is by saying pass. So when you say pass, it, does, it it simply means I don't have anything inside this in this method. Now, this methods which only has a declaration but not a definition, we call them as abstract methods, right? And then a class which will have abstract methods is called abstract classes. But then this type of concept is there from in other language as well. It is there in Java, in C sharp, but in Python it's a bit different, right? Because Python by default doesn't, does not support abstract classes. Now, if you want to make an abstract class, you need to do something. And that something is, uh, because there's one more definition, there's one more thing for abstract class, you cannot create an object of it. Example, if I try to create object of computer here, and okay. And if I say com dot uh, process, you can see there is no error. At least at the, at, when I when, when I'm typing this, if I run this code, it perfectly works. There is no output, of course, because we are saying pass. The thing is, we are able to get this object because this is not an abstract class yet. How do you make it abstract class? And for that, you have to import a module. So which module you have to import? So you have to import ABC. And in this, you have to import only two things. One is ABC, which is abstract based classes. And you need to also import the method, abstract method. So this will make this class as a subclass of ABC so that this also becomes abstract class. So now this is abstract class. And then this method has to be abstract method. So we'll say, so we'll use a decorator here, which is at the rate abstract method. Now using decorator, you can mention, hey, this process is a method which is abstract. So you're talking to your compiler about it. Now, once you do this, and if you run this code now, you can see we got an error. It simply says can't instantiate abstract class. Now, that's important. Now, if you make a class abstract, you can't get object of it because, because we have a method which is, which is not defined. Now, that's something you have to remember. Now, we can create multiple classes here. Example, I can create one more class. Of course, I can't get object of a computer because it's an abstract class and has a method which is undefined, which is uh, declared. So what we can do is we can create a new class, which is laptop, because when you say computer, computer is just a fancy term, right? Because we don't buy computers, we buy laptop, we buy desktop, we buy phones. Uh, so this laptop is actually a subclass of a computer. And then here I can define that method. But what happens if I don't define methods? Now in this case, if I try to create object of laptop, so you can see if I say laptop, what do you think? Will it work? So before continuing, you can pause the video and you can answer in the comment section. What do you think? Will it work or not? Because this time I'm not getting object of uh, computer. I'm getting object of laptop. Will it work? And then I'm let, let's say I'm not calling anything. It's just I'm creating the object. Answer it now and let's run. I hope you have answered and you can see we are getting error. The error is can't instantiate abstract class laptop with abstract methods process. 
Now that, that's the thing. Laptop is inheriting computer in which you have an abstract method. So it is compulsion for you to define that method. Otherwise, even this class, which is laptop, is abstract class. Uh, so in this case, I will simply say def and I will define the method. Uh, and then I will say process. It's running. That's it. <laughs> Nothing fancy. Uh, will this work? Let's try now. Because now I'm defining that method. So if I say run and it worked. It's just that I'm not calling this process. That's why you don't have any output. But you can do that. We can say comp1.process. At least I can see some output in the console. And we got the output. That's great. Uh, so this is working. So you can see we can create a class and that class will implement all the methods. Right? That's, that's important. And if you fail to implement all the methods, all the abstract methods, you will get an error. Now this is what abstract class is. Abstract class will have at least one abstract method. That's important, right? Uh, okay, now this is good. This is something you will say, hey, okay, this is the concept and it is working. But what's the use of this? Now think about this. Whatever concept you have learned till now, everything makes sense, right? You know how to use loops, you know what these variables are, and we can use them in the real life. But what about abstract class? Because see, if you, if you look at these two statements, we, we are calling a method which is process, and then this process is getting called from laptop. So what is important here is a laptop class. What do you think is the use of this computer class? Anyway, so even if I remove that, it will not make any difference, right? I can simply remove this class. I can remove this uh, computer as extends and it will, it will surely work. See, this thing makes sense only when your class computer has some extra methods, which laptops needs, right? What if you have two methods here or three methods here and laptop is taking those methods directly? Then it makes sense to use a computer. But what if you, your class only has abstract methods? Does it make any sense? So the answer is yes, it makes sense only when you are designing an application in a oops way. So basically when you, when you follow the concept of object oriented programming, you have to follow some patterns. And one of the pattern is, uh, let's say if you have a lot of classes, example, let's say if you talk about a programmer. So let me get a class for, for programmers here just to understand the concept. Uh, let's say class programmer let's say only one method so i will say def work because as a programmer we do work right and then in this i can say now okay what programmer does right uh, is it uh, we write code yes we do write code but we also solve problems right so we say solving okay we, do we solve problems or we, do we solve bugs that's like that that's why we spend maximum time right okay so as a programmer we do that and let me create an object of a programmer here i'll say prog1 equal to programmer and once we got the object, I can simply say prog1.work. And of course, this should print something. This, would, this should print solving bugs and it, should, it will print it's running because that's what we are doing in process. Now, what's important is as a programmer, you need a machine to work with, right? Of course, you can't work on paper, right? Programmer write codes on, on laptop, on mobile phone, on, on desktop. So of course, you, you need a computer here. Now, what do you think? What type of object I will pass here? Will it be a type of laptop? Will it be a type of computer? So what we can do is let me pass a computer type. So we just always say com. Now this com can be anything. This can be a laptop. This can be a desktop, right? Or it can be anything. It, it can be a mobile phone or it can be a, a board, a whiteboard. Oh, will that work? Now, can I say, can I pass an object of a whiteboard here? So let me create a class whiteboard. I mean, just to see if, it, if that works. I will say whiteboard. And of course, whiteboard will have certain methods. Of course, it will it will not have a method which is process, but at least we can have a method like. Uh, and then but there's one more thing. Uh, in this print, I will also do something with with com. I will say com dot process. Right. And in this whiteboard, I have a method which is uh, let's say write. That's what we do on boards, right? And then here, I will say it's writing. Uh, it's writing okay oh, what's that okay so now we, we got a whiteboard class as well and the thing is this whiteboard can i simply pass an object of whiteboard here so in this work i have to pass an object of if i pass the object of laptop there's no problem if you, if you can see if i run this code uh, and let me not call the process again let me only call work and if you say run this code it works because it says solving bugs and it is running. So it is solving bugs because we are calling work. It is uh, printing, it's running because 
from this method we are calling process because as a programmer we write a code and it, it, you have to say process right but what if if i create an object of a whiteboard i will say com2 is equal to white board and if i pass an object of whiteboard you can see there's no compile time issue i hope there, there is no compile time issue but if i run this code you can see we got the issue because whiteboard don't have a method which is process now why it doesn't have a process method because whiteboard there's no compulsion for a whiteboard to implement or to have that method which is process right and if you say hey whiteboard is a computer in this case it becomes compulsion for this whiteboard to have this method which is process so that's the design aspect right it's not that uh, you can't write a code without abstract classes but then sometimes it's also depend upon the design the way you design your application the way you design your classes so this is one way of defining a class, right? You can get an abstract class so that the other classes will be de will be having some signature or some uh, restriction to which method to define. Example, when you define APIs, so you can create an API. If someone wants to use your API, they have defined all the methods, right? So that's how that's how we use abstract classes. That's how we use abstract methods. And it's not that you can only have one abstract method, you can have multiple abstract methods and you can also have normal methods there. So I hope you got the idea of the abstract class. Uh, just to give you a quick recap, abstract class has at least one abstract method in a class. What is abstract method? Abstract methods are methods which doesn't have a definition. It only has a declaration. And if you want to use them in Python, since Python by default does not support them, you need to uh, import a module which is ABC. ABC stands for abstract base classes. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed or oh, just to see, uh, just to remove this classes so that it will work before ending it. I need to remove this whiteboard as well. And then you can also try it with desktop. So you can create your own class desktop. The only thing is the way you have a laptop here, of course, as a programmer, you can't say, hey, oh, we only work on laptop. We can also work on desktop. So you can create a desktop class and uh, desktop class will also have some methods, which is process, of course, and desktop class will extend uh, and desktop class will also inherit computer and then here you can get object of desktop and it will work so that's it from this video i hope you enjoyed let me in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos bye bye